Hello, this is Don Seidel with ERP Efficiency Experts. Today we're going to go over testing tools, and the tool that we're going to go over today is a new tool from Microsoft called Page Scripting. What it allows us to do, let's say we want to test something, we can create a test and then we can repeat that test over and over. So for example, let's say I want to create 10 different sales orders for testing purposes. Well, I can enter them one by one, but that might take me quite some time. The testing tool allows us to record the creation of that sales order, and we can play it back and we can create sales orders very quickly by just just pressing the play button. So let's show you how this works. We'll go into sales orders. By the way, you can use this tool in Sandbox or you can use it in a production environment. If you're going to use it in production, just be careful. Practice this in Sandbox before you do it in production. We're going to go ahead and go to the sales order list page. And when I do a recording, I want to be on the page that I want to start the recording on. When your recording is done, you want to end up in the same page that you started so I can repeat that action from the same page. If I go into the sales order card itself and I try to run the recording again, it's going to fail. If you're going to start with the sales order list, you want to end at the sales order list. Let's go ahead and press the gear icon and click page scripting. We can start this recording a couple of ways here. We can click start new or we can use this little button here and do a new recording. So either way is fine. Once you are recording, the red dot is going to start getting smaller and bigger there. Click new to create a new sales order. If you notice when I click a button, it's going to tell us what's happening over here. So it says we have invoked new and the sales order has been opened and the cursor is now focused on the customer number. I'm going to do a look up here and I can choose a customer, but instead of choosing a customer, I prefer to type in the number. The reason why is I'll show you in a moment. You can edit that value later on down the line. So you can go to properties here and then you can change the value of that customer. So if you want to create additional sales orders with different customers, you can simply change that value. If you do a lookup and you just click on it with your mouse, you won't be able to edit that. Let's go ahead and put in a couple of dates. Put T for today, a little shortcut there, and then let's choose an item. Again, I'm going to use the lookup, but I'm not going to click on any of these. I'm going to type in the number so I can edit it later if I want. So I'll put in a chair and same with location and same with quantity. I'm just going to type in those values. So in this case, I just want to release the order saying I'm done with this order. So if you notice the script here has been recorded, everything is there. So I'm going to press stop and then I'm going to press play. And you can see it's creating the order for us. It's going down the script. It's filling in all the information and it took us back to the, our list page. I'm going to sort this in descending order. And this is the sales order it just created for us. Let's go back to our list page and let's create more sales orders. So I can simply press this and create more sales orders. You can also edit the script here. If you wanted to create another one with a different quantity, you could come in here into properties and you could change that value to 15. And then you can press play. And you can see it's created that sales order for us. And there's our order. You can also change other fields. So for example, the item number, if you notice, it says it was recorded the input here two times. Let's see if we can get away with just changing it here the second time. And then we're going to go back to original screen we started from and press play. Let's go ahead and look at the sales order. So 2000-S was the item number. There is actually not an item 2000, so it picked up the one that was closest to that, which is 2000-S. So that worked out okay. And you can just continue to create your sales orders very quickly this way. Another option is you can just repeat this button over and over and create 10 sales orders really quick. Then you can go and edit those sales orders around the way you want. It's still a great time saver for you while you're testing. Some other features that you can use here, let's say this quantity here. I'm going to go into properties again. If you notice, there's a little link here called PowerFX Reference. Let's go ahead and click into that. So this shows you different functions or formulas you can use to create or calculate values for you. 
and you can scroll through this and see all of the different functions that are available to you. Back to our script here. The other thing you want to do is save a script. Let's say you are testing a bunch of sales orders, a developer needs to make a fix, and then you want to retest those sales orders. By having the script saved, you can just reload it and then just press the button and then you can instantly say, oh, okay, it worked or it didn't work and this is why. Let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to click the disk icon and it says this might contain sensitive data do I want to continue yes and then it's just going to ask me where do I want to save this and I'm going to just say sales order creation version 1.1 and there we go so now I have this script so if I want to reload the script I'll just close out the scripts uh, temporarily and just click open and then I can choose that script and there it is again especially if you're doing multiple step testing so I'm creating a sales order I'm creating a warehouse receipt after that I'm creating a warehouse pick after that I'm registering that pick if you're doing a long involved test you can record that entire thing have your developer address whatever bug or problem was there and then retest the whole thing just by pressing that button and those are the basics of the page scripting tool there's more information on on Microsoft's website. Here you can see all of the different features that are available. You can see the URL right here. Also put that in the comments. Well, I hope this helps you with your user testing. I think it will speed up things for you and make your life a lot easier when it comes to testing. This is Don Saito signing off for now with ERP Efficiency Experts.